hey man, you know, now that Jimbo fired for real, like, I just had, you know what I'm saying, a crazy thought in my head that, I like to say, Dan Lamb leaving, Dan Lamb leaving Oregon going to the SEC, I, no way, like, no way he makes the same mistake because he would have to go against <laughs> LSU, Georgia, you know, Alabama, you, you, it's way harder, you know, then to be playing, you know what I'm saying, you got Iowa and Minnesota and all them teams. You know what you get what I'm saying? Like it's way easier to win in a big ten, you know, than it is in the SEC now that Texas and Oklahoma coming. You know what I'm saying? So no way he leads Oregon. But if I'm Texas and them and I'm in win, I'm in win now I'm old. I'm, I'm telling you what I'm going to do. I will do. Like, you can laugh, say what you want. And I'm hiring Dan Mullen as my head coach. And, and as bad as it sounds, you know, oh, Dan Mullen, he can't. Think about it. You have an offensive-minded coach, a good offensive-minded coach. Like, he ain't no Jim Fisher. Like, he's a legit offensive-minded coach. And what was his weakness? His weakness was recruiting. Like, he, he felt like, you know what I'm saying, he ain't really want, he want aggressive in the crew. Guess what you could do now? And guess what Texas a and caught? They got a loaded roster, if it stands, you know, if they don't leave. But nonetheless, they have the NIL. Like, Texas a and has the NIL on his side. Guess what? Dan Mullen got to work way less harder now in the recruiting. And guess who I'm getting as my defensive coordinator? Mel Tucker. I'm getting Mel Tucker or Glenn Schumann as my defensive coordinator. <laughs> and I'm paying them good get for the next three or four years. That's a, that's a goal. Three or four years. And Texas a and I'm not, I'm not saying they're going to win on national championship. But they will have a way better chance than they did with Jimbo. And that's facts. I'm telling y'all, man. Yeah, you, if you, if you a Texas a and fan, hey man, you know I say I ain't looking for clout or nothing. But y'all should make this video go viral and send it to your Texas a and friends and and the college roommates or whoever, you know your mom, your daddy, whoever Texas a and fan to the Texas a and athletic director or whoever is the boosters or whoever responsible for hiring the coaches up there in Texas and Agland or whoever. The little, the little army, the little de dudes, that be, the, the male cheerleaders, whoever, you know what I'm saying? That's a Tess and them fan, associated with Tess and them. Hey, I'm telling y'all, man, don't, don't, don't go hire a Duke coach. Don't, don't try to get Louisville coach. Don't, don't even worry about going after Dan Lanning. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't go after no other coach. You know what I'm saying? Dan Mullen, I'm getting him. I'm getting Dan Mullen, no hesitation. I'm saying, hey, I'm calling him. Say, hey, man, we know you can't recruit. Don't even worry about recruiting. We just want you to average 35, 40 points a game. And then I'm calling Mel Tucker. Hey, Mel, I know, we know you, you know what I'm saying? We know you like, the, you, know, <laughs> you know, we got a lot of situations going on, you know, about the woman and all this. But hey, man, we ain't, ain't got to worry about that. Man, you're going to come down to Texas. We're going to get you out that cold weather up north. We're going to bring you down here, down south. You know what I'm saying? We're going to pay you, you know, $2.8 million to coach defense. You know what I'm saying? And we want a consistent top 10, top 15 defense yearly. Is that, can you do that? Dan Mullen, can you have us, you know, a consistent top 15, top 20 defense? I mean, offense. And a consistent top 15 team the year in your Can you do that? And I'm paying this man. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what he did at Florida. Like I say, recruiting was on his side. And the NIL just now became a thing. You know what I'm saying? The year he got fired. But at Texas and them, a team that can recruit in the top five every year. <sighs> Without him having to recruit, because you got all this booster money, you know what I'm saying, all money. <sighs> That's a scary sight. I ain't even going to count. Like, you know what I'm saying? George is going to do their thing. But Texas a and them, but Dan Mullen, offensive mind, and a defensive coordinator like Glenn Schumann 
or Mel Tucker or whoever. You know what I'm saying? And really, it look it looking like um I forgot Baylor coach now. It gonna come right back to me after this video. But it's looking like Baylor head coach. I, I, I don't know how I forgot his name. But Baylor head coach look like he about to get fired himself. You know what I'm saying? I'm bringing him. It's so Mel Tucker, Glenn Schumann, or Baylor head coach. You know, I don't know how I forgot his name. But he gonna come right me after I close this video off. But uh, I'm, I'm going to get them. You know what I'm saying? Really, I, I, I'm bringing all three. And, it, it, you know, it, it what it is. And I'm telling y'all, man, that, that, Tess and them will be scary. So if you a Tess and them fan, you know what I'm saying, check in with me. Let me know what y'all think. Because I'm telling y'all, don't, don't, don't worry about all these coaches. Don't go to Florida route trying to get a group five coach. Don't do all that. You, you, you got a, you got a top five, top ten roster right now. I mean, given the fact, you know what I'm saying, that another player transfer, you know what I'm saying. But if you get a hot name like Dan Mullen, they not gonna transfer. You bring in a top defensive coordinator like a Mel Tucker or something, they not gonna transfer. Like they gonna feel like they can win. And guess what? Y'all can. You know, unless injury bull strikes and you know some. You know, you got to go down to your third or fourth screen quarterback. But if y'all stay healthy, you have a Dan Mullen who has, you know, proven that he can win big games. And he has beat, you know, elite teams. And then you have an elite defense coordinator with that top five talent at Texas a and and Aguiland. You know, with a, a fan base that's excited to feel like they can win, you know, just about every game they go in. Hey, I'm telling y'all, man. Y'all test that them will be scary. And, and, and I would be, that would be scary for the SEC. You know what I'm saying? Definitely if you, you a team like Texas and, and Oklahoma and, you know, and Auburn and, you know, and teams that are trying to get back going in Florida, like, I mean, Florida already done for. But, yeah, let me know what y'all think, man. I'm telling y'all. And definitely, definitely, with Alabama and Nick Saban, you know what I'm saying? Definitely with Saban again, he, he gonna retire soon. I mean, he ain't gonna deal with all this schedule realignments and, and him having two or three losses on his resume. Cause that's what's gonna happen to every team. I mean, it's gonna look like the NFL. Like you gonna have three loss Georgia winning the national championship. <laughs> it would be, but I mean, but yeah, let me know what y'all think. I mean, I ain't trying to make the video no 10 minutes over, but anyway, test and them. Don't make the mistake hiring no other coach. I mean, unless it's Lane Kiffin. I mean, if it's like if it's Lane Kiffin or Dan Mullen, that's it. That's it. Lane Kiffin or Dan Mullen. And then I'm getting like Mel Tucker or, or playing Glenn Schumann, whatever he wants, basically. You know what I'm saying? Or Will Must Jump or somebody. Don't don't mess up. Don't mess up a hire because you don't want to be like Florida. Because I'm telling y'all, if y'all mess up this hire and y'all have another one or two losing seasons, y'all through. Y'all can hang it up. Y'all going to be too far behind and the other team's going to be too far ahead. And, and, and that all money can only save you so much. Yeah, I'm out. Go dogs, baby.